Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's been real. This is my final video ever on this channel of 2021. Just kidding. I'm not quitting YouTube. 2022 is basically here. And I made a video similar to this last year, just recapping of 2020 on how much of a big year 2020 was for the channel. And 2021, essentially, like it outshined 2020. I was looking at my channel analytics and I was like 18.7 million views this year alone. 900,000 hours watched, 69,000 subscribers gained. I know 69. And in terms of the revenue, I'm not gonna share that yet. I'm planning on sharing that with you guys next year, just discussing my passive income. But nonetheless, this was an incredible year. In terms of quality, I feel like not too much of quantity. I was uploading, but not as much as 2020. I know that for sure. But nonetheless, the, the channel didn't slow down not one bit. And I gotta just say thank you guys so much for supporting my videos, commenting first, subscribing, liking. You guys are freaking awesome. You guys truly changed my life. Going over some of my top performing videos, building my dream room video performed the best. Quick story behind that video, when I first released it on June 30th of 2020, last year, it flopped, man. It totally flopped. I put so much time into that video and it just didn't perform well. So what I decided to do, I made a desk setup video and it performed way better than the Building My Dream Room video. But this year, 2021, it was able to gain 1.5 million views, making it my most popular video of 2021. And I say that to say, that's the secret formula of Simply Pops. Simply Pops, man. <laughs> the key of my channel is not about getting the views now. It's about getting the views later on. Second performing video, iPhone 12 charge test. That gained 1.4 million views this year alone. And I released that on November 1st, 2020. Then third place, the iPhone 13 Pro all colors. That gained 1.2 million views. You guys seem to really love that. That's gonna be a tradition on the channel from now on where I just, I buy a bunch of iPhones, show you guys the colors. But the best thing about that video too as well, it's gonna continue the success in 2022 because that's the new iPhone. We're not gonna get the next iPhone until September. So if you ever decide to get a new iPhone in the future, you can go back to that video. The key to YouTube, is to make evergreen content. Content that would just age like fine wine. Content that would like, you can watch two years later from now and it still be just as valuable. But easily my favorite video that I posted this year, my dream room tour. This is a follow up from the dream room setup, crazy transformation, but just showing you guys around. That was my favorite video. That one video that gained 1.5 million views pretty much paid this entire, like everything was paid off just thanks to that video alone. The power of YouTube, man, it's incredible. Now, yes, I spent a lot of money this year, but it's all for you guys. Buying all those iPhones, buying every single iMac. You guys remember that video? Easily, like I said from the very beginning, this is the most successful year on YouTube. And, um, and it's all thanks to you guys. I'm not slowing down with the quality of content. Every single video that I uploaded this year was shot in 4K natively. Looking at my live analytics right now as we speak, I got 130,000 views in the last 48 hours. It's just incredible. And right now, in the time of this recording, I have 168,000 subscribers, super close to 200,000, making it one of my goals of 2022. I wanna hit 250,000, making it three quarters away from 1 million. We only gonna go up from here on out. There's no downgrading. Everything is getting better. I got new mics, I got a new camera. I plan on picking up another camera to have two angles. I'm only gonna make my content better and better and better. And just looking at where I started from, starting from a webcam to now, it's just, it's incredible. I have one of the most inspirational come up stories ever. You guys don't even understand, man. I should do a draw my life, but I'm thinking about it. Okay, so with that out the way, I wanna switch gears to the Q&A. So I asked you guys on Twitter, YouTube, on the community post, and on Instagram, ask me some questions that you guys probably wanna ask me. Okay, the first question on Twitter, what is your favorite game that you played this year? My favorite game that I played this year has to be Resident Evil Village. Like Resident Evil Village, 
man that that was a journey man going through the elevators and just seeing the levels progressing and i love that game that's my game of the year in my humble opinion i'm curious to see if we're gonna get any dlcs because the way how that ended which i'm not gonna spoil it i feel like it should have been a little bit more and i know they're gonna probably have dlcs probably another question on twitter what's your favorite part of being a youtuber my favorite part about being a youtuber is just the freedom you can wake up anytime you're your own boss you create the content and and i know this can't be said for all channels because some channels they fall under rules and regulations but i'm just me you know what i'm saying i'm self-employed i make my videos i edit my own videos i do everything on this channel and it's just the freedom just to create content and just sharing it with the world it's incredible and the second thing i would say is just creating a community meeting new people getting invited to ces you get what i'm saying just the opportunities another question from the same person he asks any tips for a new youtuber the best advice i could give you guys just be consistent make evergreen content that i just discussed it earlier make content that hasn't been made already make something that's unique and also make something that you would watch i watch a lot of tech videos so i make tech videos gaming videos try to brainstorm some ideas that is just unique that's just never been done before perfect example i made a video uh, on the ps5 connecting an optical drive to the digital edition ps5 like who had thought about that so you got to really think hard about what content you can make or even something simple as like the best car accessories maybe you just recently got a car and you want to buy some accessories make a video on that or essentially just take the tech that you have now and review it so if you have an iphone 11 you can review that iphone 11 you know apple content or even if you're doing gaming try to do some tips and tricks that never been done before just be unique exclusive mario x still set your iphone jailbreak or not no i don't jailbreak iphones no more that's just not my thing anymore unfortunately i know some of you guys came from the jailbreak side but that's just not my cup of tea the reason being is ios has gotten so good that you don't really need the jailbreak anymore you have widget you can even customize the icons for crying out loud like for me i think i just outgrew the jailbreak but i will always respect the jailbreak community for coming up with new ideas and innovating and having the features first but i have everything that i need now on ios dark mode flux everything is here now kendrick asks are you making your favorite tech of the year video unfortunately no i was supposed to do a collaboration with um a couple of youtubers but nobody nobody got back to me unfortunately um so i asked mkbhd i justine i didn't get nothing i didn't really push it as hard as i like to as the time went on just been more busy kind of been a little lazy i ain't gonna lie my favorite tech of this year probably has to be the lg c1 oled tv pairing that up with the apple tv 4k makes it a remarkable experience i love the interface of the apple tv and then the lg c1 oled with the 4k 120 frames per second and the inky blacks vibrant colors this tv is fantastic i love it so much now i ain't gonna lie as a quick runner up the m1 max 16 inch macbook pro this is incredible anything i throw at it it handles it like butter my favorite moment of 2021 has to be hitting 100,000 subscribers it brought a lot of things verification the silver play button and overall just seeing that 100k next to my name is just so clean i kid you guys not i took a nap one time and i woke up my channel was verified <laughs> kid you not it, it just felt so good like i woke up from a nap and i saw my channel was verified and i was like man wow and then unboxing the silver play button man that's my favorite moment of the year i had more favorite moments such as a tendency yes for the first time next question from triangle jerry how many subs do you think you're gonna gain in 2022 this is a hard question, but judging by the success of 2021, I'm probably gonna have give or take 200, at least 250,000 subscribers next year, which is incredible. Majestic asks, any thoughts on the Pixel 6, 6 Pro? Yo, the Google Pixel 6 Pro, I love, that's my favorite Android device. A lot of people have been killing Google for saying that the fingerprint scanner is too slow. And I wanna shout out to Google, that's one of the biggest highlights of this year. 
being a part of Team Pixel. And I'm not just saying that because I'm Team Pixel. I actually love the camera. The iPhone 13 Pro has the better video camera. Pictures on the 6 Pro, wow. And that's all the questions. That's all I have. Thank you guys so much for an incredible year. I hope you guys have a safe New Year's. And if you have any goals or plans, I, I hope you accomplish them in 2022. I can't believe we're in 2022 already. It's been two years since 2020. That's crazy. Time is flying. If you guys missed Casey Neistat's video that he made uh, two years ago now in 2020, you should watch it. Time goes by fast the older you get. It's crazy. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I see you guys next year. Peace.